It's your favorite hood hottest princess, sex fucking red, and I just jumped off the porch with dirty girl a bastard. Slim, thick, chocolate, plus I'm hella toxic. I'm the first pick, I ain't a getting good second option. I be getting... Alright. Alright. We got sexy red jumping off the porch with us today. The motherfucking hood hottest princess in this Oh yeah. Yeah. And it's like that. It's like that. Oh yeah. In for real sure. life. In the real life. In real life. Not for fake. Nah. Mm -mm. And but we appreciate having you on the porch with us today though. I appreciate y'all having a bit. Oh yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how you feeling, Red? I'm good. I'm tired. I'm in Atlanta. You know, kid free. I'm outside right there. Oh for sure. Yeah, what a baby. He at home with his granny. The grandma the baby. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so when you in Atlanta, tell me what type of stuff you be getting into when you be out like, here. When I be out here, I love coming out here. Cause well, my friend he just moved from out of here, but whenever I used to come to Atlanta, he used to take me shopping, take me out to eat and stuff. He just just left. I'm too mad. This is the first trip that he ain't down here for. But I don't know Atlanta. It's like it's like St. Louis, but ten times St. Louis. That's where I'm from. It's it's turned. I love it out here. For sure, St. Louis get turned too though. It be turk, but it's like Atlanta. It's like I don't know. It's like ten times St. Louis. St. Louis just I don't know. I can't even explain it. I can't explain it. So how would you explain the way of life and culture of St. Louis for somebody who wouldn't really know? I mean, okay, I'm gonna explain it like this. They say we out, we old fashioned. They think we like stuck in our two thousand ways. Like we be wearing track suits and like I don't know. They just say we dress like we from still back in the day. They be saying it, they be telling it. And they say I rap like that, like, I be, we don't listen to the new rap, we still listen to old shit. We play old movies like, like, Boys in the Hood, you know, like, we play old Minutes of Society. The classics. Classics, Friday, yeah. like, we listen, we watch shit like that, we don't watch none of the new shit, like, we not that hip out there, like, we hip, but we not up to date, like, mm. like, with fashion too, like, when I be in Miami, I be seeing, like, they be in the ladies, Louis, Gucci, and all that. We don't got stores like that down there, so of course we not gonna be hip on all this shit, you know? But when I come to other, like Atlanta and all that, I get to go shopping and do all this shit. So how that make you feel to know that you can go to other cities and shit, you know what I, I mean? I tight. Yeah. Cause they can't do that about city. Like I be coming back with all the hard ass shit. They be like, where you, where you get that from? I be like, Miami, Atlanta, <laughs> you know? They be like, where you get your nails done there? Oh, I got these, my girl in Miami, you know? They made them. I just be feeling tight. That's real. So tell me about coming up in St. Louis and how your upbringing was. <laughs> my upbringing, my upbringing was fun. I grew up on the north side. We used to be outside, all the kids just outside riding bikes and shit, playing all the kid games. And then, you know, we had the, the big kids, the older generation. They was just bad, you know. It was fun though, like, I don't know. I don't know, my upbringing, my upbringing was cool though. Single parent, I was bad. I was bad as fuck. I, was I believe it, bro. I was bad. <laughs> I was 16 when I first started getting tattoos. Like, I was in high school. I got all these in high school. Yeah. I got all these in high school. This was my first tattoo, though, the loyalty. Because my boyfriend had got locked up on me. I was 16. He got locked up, and I got that loyalty tattoo for him. Oh, you was going to hold him down? I was riding for him. He got locked up. He did. Ten, they gave him 10 years. I was riding for him for a year and a half. And then at his sentencing, I had to leave school to go to his sentencing. Mm. They was like, he was like, man, they gave him 10 years before they took him to the back when he was in the handcuffs and stuff. He was like, just, just live your life, live your life, but wait on me and stuff. I'm like, all right. I was crying. I'm like, all right, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> he like, don't get pregnant. He said that right before he, they closed the doors on him. He said, don't get pregnant. I'll never forget. <laughs> Damn. For real. You missed that on that part, though. <laughs> <laughs> when I was outside, no he rap. turned me bad. Like, that was, you know how you had your first boyfriend, you be, or your first girlfriend, you be dumb at first over them, you be kind of slow. But then, you get hip to the game, like, oh, man, I was letting him do me like that. Yeah. I was letting her do me, man. No, he turned me bad. Like, he turned me real bad. That's what it is, though. What is one item or one thing that the candy lady in the hood of St. Louis might have that no other hood might have. The candy lady? Yeah. What she got in her shit that ain't nobody else in their hood got? I don't know. All our candy people be selling the same shit. Like they be selling them sweet and, sweet and spicy pickles and stuff. Or... See, I ain't never heard of that. What's you ain't never had the sweet and spicy nah, pickles? Nah, what that is? Stop playing. I swear. 
It's like, it's just some regular kosher pickles, but you gotta soak them in some sweet and spicy juice. And it had, the pickles be so fire. You can soak them in anything. Or like, uh, you know what the candy lady might got that nobody have? Peppermint pickles or Kool-Aid pickles. Yeah, that's some up top shit for sure. Oh, so you heard about Kool-Aid pickles and shit. Chicago be on that oh, shit. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that or like the little juice cups that you put in the freezer yeah. and you just, you know. Mm-hmm. That's just some little shit you was getting dabbling into and shit like that. Yeah. So when would you say you realized the streets of St. Louis didn't have, you know what I'm saying, much to offer? When I started coming out of town, cause I'm like, damn, I be out, when I be out of town, I be just seeing all stuff and I be like, wow, people straight ain't gonna be able to see no shit like this. Like they really be stuck in their ways, but I see why. Cause they ain't got the money to, you know, but cause when, before I could travel and shit, I was stuck in my ways too. I didn't think it was nothing bigger out there until I start traveling, I'm like, you might meet a, your straight best friend out of town somewhere, or your soulmate, you never know. You stuck in your city, you don't even know. It's like shit all over, you know what I'm saying? It just be a lot. So when would you say you jumped off the porch? 15, shit, 15 for real. That's when I started getting outside with my big sisters and them, going to the strip club and shit. They used to give me their IDs, I used to get in with them. And um, I used to come back to school. Wasn't nobody doing this. I used to be the only one coming back to school with, with club pictures and shit from the strip club. <laughs> oh God, they was like- With the backdrop? Yeah, they was not doing shit like that. I used to be the only only one in school coming to school like, like yeah, what y'all do this weekend? They used to be on, uh, we were not, uh, I, bitch, I was at the strip club, bitch, me and my big sister, we was outside. Yeah. We used to be with all the older niggas and stuff. And I mean, one time we got locked up, I had, uh, I used to lot of them by my age. And one day we all got locked up. I had to tell them I was really 17. These people like 25, 27, I'm 17. They didn't, <laughs> they never knew. Cause my big sister like, just play your role. Just, you know, you with me, just act grown, you know? So we, we used to be outside. And another thing, I used to be in class flexing bankrolls. These bitches was broke in school. I used to, on my son, I got TBT pictures. I used to be flexing big bankrolls. I used to be in class. Flexing on purpose, like stunning on the ass. I wanted best hair, cause I used to have all the best hair styles. Like I was just like grown for my age. I used to have nails like this in high school. Like I was the only one coming to school looking. Could you imagine the little sixteen year old dressing like this? Like no. They do it now, but back then when I was doing it, it was like not normal. I had red hair too. That's why I got the name Red, cause I was in middle school with red hair. I always was into like fashion and shit. Like I always, you know. That's real though. Oh God. So what's some of the shit you can say you done seen or been through that you jumped off the porch at the early age of 15? Man, let me see. Well, one, my boyfriend when I was 15, he was older than me. So he, I used to see all kind of shit. And then his family, they was like from the hood, for real, for real. They was from the west side. That's like real ghetto where we from. <laughs> the west side, if you say you're from the west side, you, are, you probably dirty or you're a crip. They just <laughs> ghetto as fuck. <laughs> For real, you say you're from the West, we already know what that means. You a cripple, you dusty. So I'm just like, like that. Which family, one was he? Which one was he? He was both, but he, used to, he was getting money. <laughs> like he was like, he wasn't dusty, he knew how to dress. Like, I can't explain it. Like, I like I like niggas with a dusty look though. But like with him, we he like we used to be sleeping on floors. We used to be in like trap houses. We used to, he used to be selling crack. We, I, he just showed me a lot of stuff. That's why I said, I think he the one turned me bad for real, for real. But when he got locked up, that's when I went crazy. Like, I was holding him down for a good year. And then that's when I just, that's when I hit my whole stage. Like, I just was like, just fucking with everybody. I just was just being bad. Just out like, just, I'm like, my nigga in jail. I ain't got, you know, I'm just outside. I was getting money. He turned me, he, just, he got me off the push for real. Him yeah. and my sisters. Cause like I said, we used to be in the strip clubs. I was already around older people. Like, I don't know. For sure. Yeah. What moment would you say you realized it was like, you was really out here like, fuck it. Like you were saying, your nigga in jail, you know what I'm saying? You already grown, you already off the porch. What moment would you say it exactly was for you? It was like, shit, I'm out here for real. When I got a car, I got a car. I just was really outside of my car. Like, man, bouncing all ass. Bouncing all ass, like, you young with a car? And then I would, my mom was hella mad I went to bought a car, cause like I said, I was getting money when I was young. So I didn't even have no license yet. But if you go on the east side, you ain't gotta have no license, you just gotta have the money. And I just, my homeboy, he was older than me. I'm like, man, I wanna get a car. He like, shit, you got, you got 1500? I'm like, yeah, I got 1500. So we just went up to the place and I just dropped 1500 and got me a little GP when I say. 
I used to be outside. I straight missed the old days. I used to be just a little little gangster, little gangster out here for real. <laughs> little gangster. Little gangster. So what inspired you? Pulling up in all the hoods, fucking with all the ops. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, in every nigga hood, stop playing with me. For sure. What would you say attracts niggas to you the most? I don't know. I don't know. Is it, uh, is it the looks? <laughs> is it the looks, gentlemen? I don't know. I be just thinking I'm just that like, I don't know, I'm fun too. Like any nigga that fuck with me, they know we gonna laugh, we gonna have fun. Like I'm a, I'm a homeboy for real. But I'm sexy with it, you know. Um, you know, you know, niggas love me. Any nigga I fuck with, they love me. They gonna sure. love me. They gonna love it here. What's your opinions about all this 50-50 talk we be hearing nowadays? And I shit? think that's cool. That's fair. Cause if my son got a girlfriend and she not, she think he gotta pay. My, I got a son, so if his bitch thinks he gotta pay everything cause he's a nigga, it do not work like that. Like that shit gotta be fair. I just feel like it's fair game. We all, cause I feel like you know how they try to say, oh he a dude, so he can do that. I don't think that's right either. Girls do the same shit niggas do. Niggas be hoes, bitches be hoes too. Niggas be wanna fuck, bitches be wanna fuck too. So I just say like I don't be putting no titles on shit. I just say we are all people. 50-50, it's just, that's life. You gotta, you gotta be fair with the shit. For real, for real. So how you feel about women who don't necessarily have that viewpoint? They feel like, you know what I'm saying, everything gotta be catered to them I feel shit. like you, you probably a broke bitch or something. Bro. That what, I ain't gonna lie, I, I ain't wanna broke. say that. I ain't wanna say that, bro, but I'm I glad you, you broke. said it, bro. Cause if you got it, you not even gonna be tripping off no 50-50 shit. Some shit, a nigga gonna automatically say, oh, I got this. But some shit, I be taking care of too, like, I buy the food this day, or you know, it, it could be my turn. I pay the rent. You know, I don't be having problems with shit like that. But when it's my turn, you just better return a favor. If I'm the one doing everything, because nowadays it be like that too. The bitches do everything. No, I'm not finna be the only one doing everything now. For sure. But that's why niggas don't mind spending down on you because you making sure they straight. Yeah, I'm, I, any nigga I fuck with, he know I'm a honey. Like I be, I, I ain't gonna say I'm no trick or nothing. But like I be, if I see that we can spend money on each other, I'm that type of person. Yeah. Even with friends, like if I see, uh, like if my friend show me one time, like, oh, you ain't gotta pay for this, I got you. Just by you, I ain't, you ain't even gotta pay it, but just by you offering, I see what type of relationship we can have. So yeah. I, I respect you like that. But other people, if y'all acting tight and like, you know, like they can't spend no money or, you know, I don't, we can't click. For sure. We can't click. You can, we gotta be able to spend money on each other. It ain't gotta be no one way street. We gotta, gotta have both. some hustle about yourself. Yeah, for real. You like girls too, huh? Fuck no. Nah. I'm strict, not bisexual. Strictly dickly. Strictly, <laughs> strictly. I love it. I love, love the Zeke. Okay? Never been with a girl. I mean, <laughs> I mean, probably one time. I tried it, and for me, I like niggas better, way better. I need penetration. Fuck all that. I need penetration. I just love niggas, though. Like, I just love dudes. I love boys. I'm that type of girl. I love boys, but I hate them too, though. What you hate about them? Like when they be, I be like, y'all ain't shit. Like when I be talking to my homeboys and they be telling me shit, I be like, nigga, you is not shit. That, that'd be the only reason I hate niggas. I be like, I hate niggas, man. Like when he, my homeboy would tell me something, I be like, damn, that's fucked up. Like, <laughs> I hate niggas, man. But he, they know, keep it real with me though. Like y'all, anybody can tell me anything. Cause I'm that type of person. Like we can talk about whatever. I ain't, I ain't the type to judge nobody. That's real. Mm -hmm. So when would you say you discovered your passion for music? Uh. It was after my baby daddy. Well, he wasn't my baby daddy then. He was just my boyfriend, but he was cheating on me with a lame ass bitch. Like, this bitch can't even load a clip. Like, what? You cheating on me with this square ass hoe? Anyways, so he was cheating on me with this loser. Then I made a, I made a diss song. And I was talking all shit. I was talking about how her and her friends be sharing shoes and jeans and all kind of shit. I was just sneak dissing like a motherfucker. Not sneak dissing, because they knew who it was about, but. Yeah. I was talking about shit. My baby daddy, I rapped it to him. I was sneak dissing at him too. He like, oh man, that motherfucker hard. And then every time we'd get around one of his friends, he'd be like, show them your rap, show them your rap. <laughs> and I rap it for them. They like, oh, you hard. So then I had, I'm like, for real. So I made a real song and I went to the studio and recorded it. But before I did that, I used to be dressing all fur and shit, and, you know, just had the best shit. So people been with saying, on my son, motherfuckers used to be in school like, you should be a rapper. Cause this when like, we had rappers in our city, but we didn't have no girl rappers. And motherfuckers used to be like, you should be a rapper. You already be dressing like a rapper. You already got the money and stuff. Just be a rapper, just start, just make a rap, just start rapping. I used to be like, I see, I see. But then I finally really did that shit and I straight 
they they follow the trend. They they fuck with. They been fuck with me because before I was a rapper, I always you already like, had the persona. I been had that. I swear to God, like, I used to go viral on Facebook for how I used to dress. Like they used to just share my pictures. And now I be seeing them, they be using my pictures still. They be saying like Hoochie Mama inspirations. And they be like putting my little outfits up there and stuff. <laughs> How that I'm make like, you oh, feel though? Huh? How that make you feel though? You an inspiration. Fuck all that other shit. It's still inspiration to yeah, some people. Yeah, you know what I mean? for real. I be, I be feeling tight. Like, but I've been an inspiration. Like people always looked up to me. Cause I always was different. I never cared what nobody had to say about me. Like I come to school with, like I remember I, used, I came to school with half of my head blind and the other half black. Like. Or I come to school with pink and I just be, used to just be doing clown shit. Like, but it was me. This how I feel. I'm just doing what I want to do yeah. type shit. And that's how I am with my tattoos and stuff. Like, I'm like, all these get up. I'm going to be an old ass lady with all these dumb ass tattoos. I just was like, I want some fire on my leg. So I just go get, get the flame. Like, I just go with my mood for real. That's straight what I do. That's and real. they fuck with it because I just say how I feel. Like, ain't, ain't no filters with me, basically. No filters. So what was the reaction once you dropped Hood, bitch? They fuck, they, anything I do, they fuck with. I don't know, they, they fucked with it. I don't know, they fuck with any song I drop. Like, they just be, that's why I be, keep going. Cause at first I was gonna stop rapping cause I'm like, I don't really wanna be no rapper, I'm not no rapper. If you go on my Instagram, it say I'm a trapper slash rapper. But, I mean, motherfuckers just be like, keep rapping, like drop another song. And then that'll make me go do another song. The only cause y'all asking me to, but I really, I could do other shit. I ain't gotta be no rapper, but that's what y'all, y'all want me to talk my shit, so. They want you to talk your shit. They want me to talk that shit, so I'll talk that shit for them. So tell me about your creative process in the studio. What gets you in that mode? Um, my baby daddy gotta make me mad. <laughs> <laughs> that really make me write the best songs. When my baby daddy pissed me off or like, um, other people been in the studio with me because they be saying shit and I'd be like, oh, I can make a song about that. Or I could use that and go off that and make a song, like shit like that. So how did it make you feel once the world started paying attention, not just the city of St. Louis, but the world started tuning into that shit? I knew it was going to happen because I been there. Like, my first song went viral because they were sharing and talking shit. So like, I don't know. I just, I was, I was like, I already knew that was gonna happen. I ain't, I ain't trying to sound like bold or nothing, or cocky, but I'm just, Poppy. Hell no, I'm just saying, I already, I know they, fuck, I know people gonna fuck with me. Like, even when I get bigger and bigger, like, people gonna be fascinated to see me. People be really fascinated to see me. They be like, you just, you different. You don't care. You yourself. They like that. They know I ain't trying to be like nobody else. That's real. Uh huh, for real. So, talk about how Born by the River came together with you and Sukiyama. We was at the studio. Yeah, I'm like, remember that old, uh, remember that old Vine when they was like, I was going by the river, I was getting the cash, bending it over, pop that pussy, I was making, you know what I'm talking about for yeah, real. Yeah, I know what you're talking about for sure. You know what I'm talking about for real, yeah. that Vine. Oh God. So I'm like, let's make a song about that. I was going by the river, I was getting them stacks. And then we just switched it up. And, Cause I'm like, I want it to still be a funny, a funny song, but. Cause at first it was like, I was born by the river. I don't know why that, it made me think, I don't know how I can't, I don't know, it was weird. We like, let's do some back in the day shit. And then just did that. That's what's up. And they straight, I didn't think they was gonna like that song. I'm like, I'm like, I don't think they gonna like this. Movie. I'm like, it's cool. She like, they gonna like it. They, she, I wasn't so confident about it. She like, they gonna like it. They gonna like it. Then when it came out and everybody was fucking with it, she like, I already told you they was gonna like it. I was, I be beating myself up. I be like, man, that ain't hard enough. Like it need to be, it need to be tighter. Like, mm. how did y'all two meet and decide to work together? Cause uh, like, when I first started rapping, I think that was 2018 or 20, I think it was 2019 when I, yeah, 2019. She, I used to, um, I been was following her cause she used to be making all funny ass shit. And I used to fuck with Suki. And I guess, I don't, know, I don't know how she even found me. I guess probably because I used to comment on her shit or something. And one day she had just wrote under my stuff. She was like, yeah, yeah, that, my little sister's tight and stuff. And then that's when we just used to be like coming back on and forth on each other, raps and stuff. And then I'm like, bitch, I'm gonna be in the A, let's link. So then, no, it was with, oh, we linked up in Miami. That's the first time we met in Miami. So we linked up in Miami. After so long, like I'm like, bitch, let, let's do it, let's do a song, you know? Come on, let's let's link up and shit. And we both the same type of person. That's why I fuck with her. I like real bitches. I don't like lame bitches. Like 
Random bitches be cool, but they be lame. Like y'all, yeah. it's just I like fun, turnt bitches. Like yeah. different kind of bitches for real. What you feel make a bitch a real bitch and a lame bitch? What's the difference between the two? A lame bitch is like you scared to be yourself for real. For you worried about what the next motherfucker gonna say. Like if you want to twerk or you want to say this, say it. Like what you worried about the next motherfucker for? That's lame to me. That's lame. Be yourself. Cause you know how bougie bitch or classy bitch they trying to keep it classy. If go with your mood, if that's what you want to do, do what you want to do. You, we are grown. How you going, you trying to, I mean, you, that's cool to be conservative or, you know, cause I mean, I could be cool too, but whatever my mood is, I'm gonna go with my mood. I ain't finna be trying to do that cause these niggas right here. Or you know what I'm saying? You know, I yeah. don't know. Bitches just be acting lame. Like be yourself. Well, make a bitch real to you. She real if she go with her motherfucking mood. She say what she want to say. She do what she want to do. She wear what she want to wear. She feel how she want to feel. You know how some bitches be like, well, bitches be writing me. They be saying, um, I'm glad you do it because I, I couldn't do it. Like, I, I, look, I look up to you because you can do it. Like, you know, they be saying, I want to wear that, but I just, I'm not going to wear it. I can't. I'm scared. I don't know. I be saying, do it. Like, why not do it? Just go with how you feel. Be yourself. So this is a PSA, real bitches got confidence. Yeah, real, that's kind of, I love a bitch with confidence. Like, I hate a jealous ass bitch. That's so lame to me. Like, if you confident in yourself, you gonna, you gonna com be confident, complimenting other bitches. Like, some bitches just really be hating. I'm not no hater. I, if I see a bitch doing good shit, I be like, that's what's up. I like that shit. But you know, other bitches, they be really hating on me. And I be like, damn, I ain't do shit to you. What you mad at me for? <laughs> what the fuck did I do to you? They I wouldn't be bothered hate on by you. your confidence. Yeah. Like, but if you wasn't no hating ass bitch, I'd be like, okay, I'll fuck with you. But you a hater, so <laughs> I can't. And that's just how it go. Mm -hmm. So tell me how you linked up with Summer Walker for since that guy gave me. Okay. So first, this how Summer. I guess she heard my music and she used to always play my one song called Get Off Freestyle. She used to always be playing it and tagging me and stuff. And, and I don't know. She, uh, I had followed her and I commented on her stuff one day and then one day I guess she seen it and she went on my page and she, I guess she seen me and she like, okay, she look cool. And she followed me back and was just, we was writing each other. And I seen, we was just asking, well, I was asking her questions. I'm like, what, what's your sign? She like, I'm an Aries. We both was Aries and stuff. So we just was clicking and shit. And then she like, she had a sleepover. And it's this one dude that we both cool with, we mutually cool with. They was in a group chat. He like, let's add sexy. So then they added me to the group chat and it was about the little sleepover. So we went to the sleepover. I was acting shy at first, I ain't gonna lie. Cause like when I first meet people, I be quiet. And it was just a lot of them. So I was just sitting on the couch. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just watching them turn up. And this is not how I am. But yeah. when I first meet people, I am just so like. So you was being a lame bitch. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I was watching though. I was watching. Like that's a thing too. Like that's different. If you watching your surroundings, you just you feeling it out, like seeing how people is. You know, that's what I was doing too. I'm like, yeah, okay, okay. They just turned up. They playing my music. I'm still sitting there, like straight acting, acting shy. I'm just like, I really want to dance with them. <laughs> 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 I was so shy, and it's like you. It's like you meet your. Uh, like you, you were stuck in your city and then you meet a rapper that's all the way out of town that you never thought you would be sitting in front of, like they straight inviting me today. So I was nervous, I'm like, you know, but then that's when we, I start opening up, we, you know, we start getting cool and shit. I'm like, let's do a song. Cause they playing my music, I'm like, bitch, let's do a song. She like, I don't want to play with your crowd fan, like make fun of your crowd. I'm like, nah, it's cool, let's, I don't care. We can do a funny song. She like, mm, okay, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see. So then a year ago by, a year ago, by she wrote me out of nowhere. Like we used to be laughing at each other's shit and shit, but she wrote me. She like, what's your number? So I heard her sit there and that number. I called my people. So I'm like, yeah. Why she just asked for my number? Like, she finna send me some shit. I'm like, what she on? She on some other shit. So they like, see what she want. So then she texts me two songs. I'm like, this that, this that. So she like, pick which pick which one your favorite. And she made them specifically for me, like, cause the stuff she was saying in the song, like. She only did that for me, like, so I feel like I'm tight because she took her time. She went to the studio. She was even saying my ad libs on stuff, like, so I know she specifically made this for me. I felt a little special. That's real. I felt tight. So it's safe to say Summer Walker a real bitch. Yeah, she a real bitch. She a real bitch. Shout out Summer Walker, man. I fuck with her. I fuck with her and Suki, like, 
Cause they not no haters. Like I know a hater vibe. I get vibes. Like I know energy, and I know when a bitch hate. And they don't. They don't give me that at all. Like that's real. What's some of the best advice that Suki and Summer gave you? Mm, well, when I used I used to have stage fright. I don't like being in front of a big ass crowd because I be paranoid. Like, and then Suki was just like, just bitch, just be yourself. Act like they ain't there. Like, just do it. Like she was like, I be shy too, but I still just get up there and do that shit. Like. She like, just do it. And then ever since she told me that, I start, I start being shy. I start talking to the crowd more. Cause I'm like, how you do it? Like, I always, anytime I meet somebody, I'm like, how you, how you talk to your crowd? Like in between time or, cause I just walk out on stage and do what I gotta do and walk away. I be that, that shy, that nervous. But now I sit there and talk to them in between the songs and talk to the crowd, get them to twerk with me. And she, you know, I got better with that ever since Suki told me that. That's real. How important is motherhood to you? Very. I would play by my son. Oh God. It's real important. I don't see how people be deadbeats out here. But like, I don't know. I just don't understand. Cause I got a son now. And when I say I do not play about him, I, baby, I die for him on oh, God. Mm, but it's real. real important. That's real. I don't see how mamas be deadbeats out here. What do you feel like is the most important thing to you as a mother? Of the course, providing for your child, but what's the one thing you want your son to know about you as a mother? <sighs> that I love him and that I'm here for him. He be thinking I be leaving him. He be sad. He know when I leave out of town. Like, he not crazy. That's the bad part. That's the worst part. I hate leaving him. But you providing a better life for him. Yeah. That's real. What's some of the goals you got set for yourself in your career? Mm. What's my goals? Some goals I got in my career. Like, well, when I be praying for better times and stuff, I be saying, I just pray I get rich for my son and stuff. And I be like, I hope I get real big. So he ain't got to, you know, hurt for shit. That's all. That's what I want, money. You want to get married? Married? Yeah. Fuck no. Nah. <laughs> Fuck no. Nah. I don't trust these niggas. I wanted to marry my baby daddy so bad. I used to be in love. With my, well, I'm still in love with my baby daddy, but I just can't be with him. Cause these niggas like, mm -mm, they ain't shit. I love the niggas though. <laughs> they ain't shit though. <laughs> what type of niggas you went to? Mm, I like I like all kind of niggas. Just be nice to me, but really I like hood niggas like strictly. I mean not strictly, but mainly. I like hood niggas for sure. Street niggas. What about street niggas Turn that you on. like? You what is what it about them? street niggas that you like? I don't know, like just how they move. Like, I don't know, it just, it's not, it's not good cause it's dangerous, but I just like it. It's like the fast <laughs> life. I don't know. It's just fun. Like you being, I don't know. It's just like a rush. Like, I don't know. Like when I used to be in the car, my baby daddy, he used to be getting high speeds. We used to have to watch out for the police. We used to be getting shootouts and stuff. And you be right there grinning. Yeah, <laughs> helping them. Like, <laughs> like, oh my God, but since, when I had my baby, I said, oh my God, we cannot live like that no more, baby daddy. We cannot do, he used to still want me to get outside with him. We had to like really grow up. We like, I'm like, no, nah, we can't, we gotta go, you know? But it be fun being with a street nigga, like just like driving fast, all that. <laughs> <laughs> it just be fun, it's a rush. Smoking. <laughs> <laughs> What's the craziest story that you and your baby daddy went through? Mm, the craziest story? I mean, like we didn't, oh my God, I was gonna say, we didn't been in shootouts and shit. The craziest story is when he got shot in front of me when I was pregnant. That was the craziest story, for real, for real. Um, we was finna go to our doctor's appointment and all the cars was on flat, so we had to ride in his mama car. So then we was finna, cause somebody was trying to come to like straight, execute him, like that's how it went. But they pulled up in front of the house while we was coming outside and then, you know, I seen the car and I'm like, I'm like, who? I walked on the side of him, I'm like, I wasn't on the side of the car, but I was walking towards the car cause I was trying to get his attention. His head was down, he was trying to get the paperwork we needed for the appointment. I'm like, who is this? Who is this? Then that's when, that's when the shots, you know, it was crazy. 
I had to, I was pregnant too, like, and I was big. I had to jump on the ground and stuff. I was messed up. My arms and stuff were scratched up and stuff. I had to go to the hospital. Like, cause my, I don't know, I was just breathing real heavy that day. Like, they was nervous that I was gonna lose the baby. It was just a lot going on that day. And then my baby daddy in the hospital. I'm in the hospital. You know, it was just too much. It was crazy. That's, that's like the craziest thing. I'll never forget that, ever. What would you say is the biggest lesson in that moment? Mm, the biggest lesson? Don't show nobody where you live. Cause I don't do that now. Now can't nobody know where I stand. Mm -mm. I don't give a fuck. I be like, no, I don't care. Nobody. Only, only my intermediate family, like my mama, his mama, you know, stuff like that. But I be saying, even friends, I don't want nobody knowing where I'm at just to be sure that we safe. Like I be like, my son is living here. This is my son's house. I don't need none of that over here. That's real. Mm -hmm. So I don't play that no more. Mm -hmm. Nobody can. Know. What's some of the goals you guys set for yourself for the new year? Wait, no, where is it? Hmm. I got my rose clip. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm gonna hit my blunt. That's a hair clip? Yep, my baby daddy dread clip. I smoke my weed all the way down. My baby daddy be like, man, put that out. We got some more weed. I don't care. I want my stuff. What'd you say though? What were some of the goals you guys set for yourself for this new year? Get money and get outside, like, yeah. I, that's what I mean, I just gotta, I gotta get outside. Like, I was put up, after I had my son, I was put up, I be doing little shit, like, I was being a mama. That's what I was doing, but, I mean, I'm still being a mama, like, I be having my son with me. He, this the only trip that I couldn't bring him with me, not the only trip, but. I hate what's finna come, but some other shit happened. But I don't know. This year, 2023, I just gotta get some money. That's it. Get outside. Yeah, get my name out here. They gonna know Big Six. They gonna know Big Six. They gonna know Big Six. Hmm. That shit show. This is why you're the. I know it is. Nah, for real. I and did. besides music, you got a lot of shit going on too. Your lip gloss brand. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I was just yeah. saying too. How yeah. you getting into uh, that? The cosme okay. uh, cosmetic side of this. Okay, this my. Okay, because I love lip gloss. Like, I always got to have some good little lip gloss on. So I'm like, let me make my own little lip gloss. So I made a brand called Sexy Bitch, and I got, I got that on my nails too. But I am a sexy bitch. I ain't even, I ain't, this wasn't me trying to put the brand, but this is, you know, shit I say, Sexy Bitch. That's my brand name, because it make you feel sexy. Like, when you put your lip gloss on, you're going to feel like you that bitch. And then my lip glosses, they tight. They went viral before, because cause the names. OK, so let me tell you about the names. So I had different shades. OK, I had clear. I named that one Pussy Juice, because it reminded me of Pussy Juice. Like, my brain fucked up. When I see certain shit, I be thinking some shit nobody will be thinking. So when I seen when I seen the color with the lip glitter, I'm thinking pussy juice. I got a pink one. I call it pussy hole pink because it remind me of a pussy hole. So I got a little brown one, and I said booty hole brown. <laughs> okay, so then <laughs> I mean that no that one called brown booty hole. Okay, so then uh, it's this little clear. It's not clear. It's like a cream color. I called that one nut because it remind me of some nuts. I'm like this nut. And then my friend, one day we was on the phone. She like, bitch, this nigga just burned me. He just gave me gonorrhea. I'm like, damn, that's fucked up. I'm finna make you some lip gloss. <laughs> she said, it's green. I said, I'm gonna make you some green lip gloss. <laughs> so I made some green lip gloss and that's my gonorrhea color. <laughs> and then I got one called chlamydia. Like I just, they tight and they went viral and they smell good, they fire. But they went viral on Facebook cause motherfuckers was talking shit. Like after I posted it. Oh, and I got one, it's, uh, it's, it's called sex on your period. It's red. It's cute. It's fire. It's fire. I think I want to see that one. You're going to see it. You're going to see it because I'm going to drop some more. I'm going to drop that shit again. I got my website coming back up. No, nah, for sure. Yeah. So what else you working on, man? You just out here working. I just be doing shit. Like, I used to do her. I just be doing shit. I don't know. I got music going to drop videos. I'm ready for that because then they're going to really see a young time bitch. Real spill. <laughs> they gonna really see how turned the young bitch is for real. Any last words and shout outs? Shout out to me, my son. Shout out to y'all for having me. Shout out big dog back here, Sunny, Sunny Blood, my Haitian partner. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know. Yeah. Find out who had this princess. Free my baby daddy. 
Free him. Free him. Free my BD. For real spill. The fast way. Slim thick chocolate, plus I'm hella toxic. I'm the first pick, I ain't a nigga second option.